everybody. Today I would like to talk to you about a simple editing technique in which you separate your essay into individual sentences. Now before I get into what exactly this looks like, I want to remind you that editing is the last stage in the writing process before you publish your essay or turn it in to somebody else. So by the time you've started editing, you are just looking at the surface level issues. So maybe some word choice if you're getting there, but mostly do you have the right font that you want? Is everything the same font? Um, are your essays filled with grammatical errors? All of these things that you're thinking about right before you turn it in, this is called your editing. This is not the time when you are revising for ideas. This is not the time you're reorganizing your ideas. You have already finished that. And the reason why we do the editing at the very end is just so that we don't waste our time. So if you decide to do editing throughout your writing process, then you are going to spend a lot of time like adding apostrophes, adding commas, and doing all this when you might in the end end up just deleting that sentence or paragraph or even page entirely. So now let me jump into this editing technique. So for this technique, you are going to separate your essay into individual sentences. So I'm going to scroll down and show off this essay that I have here. So one thing that you can do is just go through and find all the, pair, all the sentences, period, and individually one by one hit enter. Now a faster way to do this would be hitting control F. This brings up your find feature. If you are using a PC, that would be control plus F, or if you're using a Mac, that would be command plus F. Now, once you're up here, you're going to hit a period. And as you can see, this has 447 periods because it's 17 pages long. But if you look over on the side, you'll see that there's a lot of periods in here that are not the end of the sentence. So what I'm going to do is add a space afterwards. And that looks like it has marked a lot more for end of sentence. I can see here there are some that aren't the end of the sentence, but that's okay. Not as many as it was before. So now what I'm going to do, instead of just doing the period and find, what I'm going to do is go to replace. So here it has that period space. And what I'm going to replace this with, what happens when I do this, is it is going to find every single period in the essay and it is going to replace it with whatever I put here. So I still want that period, but now what I want to do is I want every sentence to start on its own line. So what I'm going to do is do caret p with a lowercase p. And what that means is basically a line break. It's saying new paragraph. Okay, so now when I hit replace all, that means it's going to replace every single period space with period new paragraph. And I've made 281 changes. And if I zoom out to page level, you can kind of see now I have a lot of teeny tiny paragraphs. And one thing that this can do is individually, you can go through and see kind of where do I have really long sentences. So in your essays, it's good to mix between long sentences and short sentences. So this is a really great example. I have the sentence that doesn't even take up a full line, followed by a sentence that is five lines long, and followed by one that's about a line and a half long. It's just good to have that um, mixture in, so it changes the rhythm, makes it a little more exciting and interesting. But one thing you might want to think about is when you have these sentences that are five, five lines long, or this one over here, is going in and making sure that the sentence still makes sense. Um, is it a run-on sentence or is it just a complex sentence? So looking at this, I'm going to go in and pull this to 100%. So looking at this, I can tell that one of the issues with this is that I have a lot of citations at the end of the sentence, so that's fine. And then another thing, so I have a lot of examples. So I have such as blah, 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 blah. And really this sentence is just that long. So with that, I feel totally fine because it's 
information plus examples plus citation, which is totally fine. So as you're going through, you might want to look where are these really long sentences, making sure that they're not run-ons, and making sure they make sense. So once you've double-checked all your really long sentences, the next thing you can do is just go through and read every sentence individually. Now, I just fixed that because it's not really its own um, sentence. But once you go through this, you might think, what are the grammatical conventions that I want to read for? And maybe you want to check for every single thing, or maybe you say, like, I have a really hard time with apostrophes, or I have a really hard time with introductory phrases and commas. So one thing you might do is read through and think commas, 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 introductory commas, and just have that stuck in your head and read every single sentence thinking, does this need an introductory comma? Or does this need an apostrophe anywhere? And you will go through and read every single sentence just thinking apostrophe, introductory comma. Or if you have a good understanding of all your grammatical conventions and you just want to do a once over, this is a good way to just read through every single sentence. And because they're separated like this, your brain is just going to read it a little bit differently because it has that space, because they aren't squished together and you aren't seeing them as a combined unit. Instead, it is an individual piece. Now, the last bit of advice that I might give you for this is to go to the very end. So what I just did, I, wow, I didn't notice that happens. Um, so what I just did is control A and normally if I hit enter, um, that brings me to the end, but because I had all those references, it didn't. So another example for what you might want to do once you have separated this out into individual sentences is to just start at the very end. So start with this sentence, and then go to this sentence, and then go to this sentence, and then this one, and that way your brain is reading the essay completely different. Everything is sort of out of context, and you won't be forcing your brain to um, well, your brain won't be going, oh, I know what comes next. I know blah, blah, blah. And your brain, especially since you've been writing this essay, your brain knows exactly what it wants to say. So when you reorder your sentences or do it in a different way, you're making it new again and making it interesting to your brain. So your brain is going to pay more attention to every single little word. Okay, hopefully that helps you all as just one great editing technique that you can use that doesn't take too much time um, from another from other editing techniques where you're going through and reading um, and I think it by separating out and maybe reading backwards you're getting to see your essay in a new way which is really what you need when you're at the editing stage and you've already read this essay so many times so by now you just need to look it over for those final details. All right, thank you for listening. I hope this helped you. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thanks, bye. Hello everybody. Before you try that last tip at home, I did want to share one thing with you so that you do not end up hating me. So one issue with the previous technique is that once you separate this out into individual sentences, you will have no idea where your paragraphs start and where they end. So to fix that, before you do anything else, you're going to do your control F and you're going to look for caret P. So that just shows off again where all the line breaks already are. And I'm going to go through and so find caret P and I'm just going to replace it with like caret P like four times. And that's just going to be a lot of line breaks. So once I do that, now you can see each of my paragraphs are nice and separated. So after I do that, I will look for my period space and then replace period space with um, period um, caret P. And as you can see, my paragraphs are still separated. So then after, so then this is the point that I would do all my editing. Okay, so then once I have fixed all my sentences, I'm going to go through and I'm going to search for period line breaks. 
And I'm just going to replace that with period space, replace that, and that puts my sentences back into paragraphs. And then once I've done that, I will just replace my multiple line breaks with a single line break. Once I've done that, my essay is back together, except now it has been revised and edited. Okay, so there might be still some spaces where you have some double line breaks, and that's fine, you can go through and fix that. But doing it this way is a lot easier than um, trying to go through and put everything back together. Quick, easy, fast. Okay, thank you, don't hate me, bye.